How's it going everyone, Schaefer here, and today we're going to continue with the demos from the Steam Next Fest with The Thermotorge. The Thermotorge is a story-driven RPG with morally ambiguous choices, taking place in the culturally diverse world of the 20th century Warshaw. Um, it's been, it looks super interesting, uh, looks like kind of a puzzly investigation style game, and I've been actually curious to try it, I don't my wish list for a while, so it's a demo, so I figured I'd try it. So, let's jump into it, enjoy. What options do we have? DLSS? Quality, ultra quality. Mm -hmm. Epic. What? Everything on Epic, I like the sound of that. Cool. All right. Uh, play demo. Uh, so, Thormata is a world deriving from Greek. It means miracles. A thermatorge or a tempermancer is one, is one able to discover secrets lingering in persons or palaces. They recognize flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? It is impossible to fully name the essence of a thermatorge without being born one. For years, I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately, more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. 
you're not looking your best. Thank you. <laughs> What's okay. your message? Thank you. <laughs> uh, first, play a trick on him. Now, go ahead and dictate your message. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? I aggravate your father. I send greetings to your sister. Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? Uh. I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Looney? Jeez. Ooh. Also, I can click with the mouse like this, or I can actually just use WASD. Read. My word. It feels like ages have passed since your last letter, or maybe that's just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. Hmm. P.S. I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell Anielka, Anielka? Uh, that the thought of her brought me some solace. Can we, can we steal something? Dear Jacob, please stop with the gentry sobbery. Snobbery. And listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer solely rely solely on proprietary ownership. The peasants are different now. Alright. So I get, I'm getting XP for uh, for reading stuff, which is, which is cool. How do I get out? F. Just click on the... the dot. There we go. Perception. As a thermotorge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight and can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, and words, and you can reach your goal easier. Use perception to follow the uh, to follow the path to your goal. Oh, hang on, I'll put screen tearing. Now let me put the. Uh, let me get it. Why can't I not put V-Sync on? I do. What? Let me put the, uh, the V-Sync on, that's frustrating. There we go, V-Sync enabled. There we go. Feels better. So right mouse button. And I can perceive things. Very nice, very nice. Hey there. Uh. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery, that's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Say thank you and get in. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. <laughs> Not quite sure about the voice acting yet, but it's not actually terrible. That's, uh... No, 
Nothing to see around here. This is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. They'll tell you where that creature's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Who? Thank you. Well, okay. I think I missed the dialogue option there. It's like, I'm not quite sure who I'm supposed to be, be looking for, but apparently a creature? What is this? Well, oh, protective charm. I mean, I got XP for it, so. You know. Talk to Luca. Oh, I can pet the doggo. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. They warm? Show no fear. Aye, indeed. Proud, that's what that little symbol means. A proud answer. It is not, it not always draws from your flow. Right. Wait, wait, wait. It not only draws from your floor of pride's level, but it also but also feed it even more. My, my my what? My floor of pride's level. What is that? Sure, let's do number one. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. By doing that, you feed the lore of floor of pride. Later, it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. You got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Either's Nami. We're the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. Uh oh. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. I guess we're having a, a, a scuffle. Victory conditions. When your enemies lose the, all of their health points, you win the fight. Enemies' health points are shown as bars below their feet, while your health points are represented by a bar at the bottom left corner of the screen. So, so I can't see it. Where's my health? This guy has 15 and 11. Okay. Oh, here we go. Plan your attack. Select the skill icon up of your opponent. Oh, okay, okay. Planned attack inflicts damage, but it's slow. Or I could do a quick damage that does five to six damage. Let's give him a let's give him a cheap shot. Boom. Have it. Ow. Let's just deal with this guy. Boom. Oh, he just he just shanked me with that thing. Come here. Action skew. Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions. To find out what they are planning, unfold the action skew at the top of the screen. Skill speeds. Each skill has its own speed. Yeah, I just realized that one. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing the risk of the enemy attacking first. Okay, so now I have the round at the top. So precision cuts, right? Oh, I go first. Okay, let me give him a big one. Boom. Like he make it right there, but I guess it wasn't. You know what I mean? Smack him again. Boom. Got him. Serves the Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Okay. Uh, soon the day will come and people and the people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of the mighty arm, hardened by work and struggle with misery, they will get rid of the despised Tsar. Rising up. That's what we should do. Rise up. And now let's go and do the important thing here. And pet the doggo. Yeah, good boy. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed Governor General of the Yerevan Province, Prince Napoleon, that's a hell of a name. I'm just going to call him Prince Napoleon. <laughs> this just arrived in town. The highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner 
with representatives from Yerevan's Yerv most eminent families. Okay. Is this the guy we gotta talk to? Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected this thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe? Uh, say you want to see for yourself. If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Uh, say you were born in, in Warsaw. I'm from Warsaw. Sorry, Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulsky. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches and... I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Uh, accept the challenge. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. <laughs> What's this? I'm just gonna sniff it. Do we sniff it? Prayer beads. Time worn prayer beads with a with thirty woolen knots. Okay. Illusion. Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his Order. Oh, order. Order. Uh, say that now you've got everything you need. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Observations. Observations are information that you can acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you in different situations. Okay. Perception and objects. Thermatologists possess, possess, possess blah, blah, perception, as we know, which allows them to read other people's emotions, actions, words, and thoughts left on items. In, in order to recognize them, you must develop the heart, deed, word, and mind dimensions. Okay. Traces. On some items, you will find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. Unknown, you see it for the first time. Familiar, you've seen it before, but you're not certain who it belongs to and certain you know exactly who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception on them. That's very complicated, okay. Mention force, two low word, one. 
Trace unknown. A dirty ball. Why is it saying to go? What, 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 what? what? It's saying to go that way, but I can't actually go that way. Hair cloth. Device of voluntary self mortification of the body. What are you doing? Here we go. Prayer book. An ornate prayer book containing prayers for the Russian Orthodox Rite. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight, a touch of silk, a scent of courtly powder. Uh, but that which is soft and warm is also pierced by the thorns of impending separation and longing. Draw a conclusion? <laughs> Rasputin's passions. Who would have thought that this priest had such passion? Surprisingly, the mask of a healer conceals an outstanding lover. Irresistible to women's hearts and bodies, perhaps this is one of his healing methods. Sounds kind of spicy to me. How are we doing? Are we done? I guess we talk to him again, huh? What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? Uh, tell him what problem you've got. A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. <laughs> Say that you can pay him well. Say that you're prepared to beg. I've do... got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. Fair enough. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. Wait. Hey, there he is. Oh. I guess that's the friend or the thing that we're trying to restore. This little guy here. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. 
You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? What is this? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I <laughs> wanted to sweep. Hey, we look better, I think. Where's Rasputin? In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. You've said that numerous <laughs> numerous times. I guess that she wants to sweep just in case you were uh, you were unsure of what she wanted to do. She wants to sweep. Multiple objects. Quests have multiple objects. Sorry, objectives. Quests have multiple objectives. Freely switched for the one you'd like to train. After switching, the objective will reveal will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced thermotage. No worries. The remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Alright. Find the person with the floor. Okay. Hey. I want to pet all the animals. But it won't let me. Oh, is it? Does it appear? Is it, is it this? Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. They'll all gawk, but without lifting oh. a finger. Just Vesna will bring it. Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours. Don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. I think we found the person. <laughs> click, 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 click. Something's off. A wooden box. A hand-carved and elaborately painted wooden box. Okay. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. What are you doing here, you tramp? Yeah. I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. It sounds like it sounds like the voice actor for the main character changed. I, 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 actually, I'm confused. 
Literally sounds like the main voice actor changed. Why are all these people watching me fight? Really? Uh, improve thermatology. Sure. Thermatology points. Uh, on the Grim Wars cover, there are available thermatology points that you can spend on the tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and and hunt salutars to uh, enable further development. Okay, so that's that guy. That's the guy that we just kind of we just kind of went with. I mean, there's nobody else. Okay, well, all right. Oh, whoops, Daisy. You know, just start. All right, I'm gonna smack this guy in the mouth. Oh, strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter a breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fights to end quicker. This guy's got... Alright, so... Let's reduce his focus and this smacks him in the head, huh? Alright, let's do this one. Then I'll smack him. No? opportunity attack. The enemy has lost all their focus and is now in the breakdown state. It's a great chance to launch a strong attack. Yeah, gonna punch you in the face. There we go. And then punch you as well. Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. That escalated quickly. Just stabs him in the back, the poor guy. Oh, so he gets his focus back. I see, I see. Okay, okay. I'll just touch my uh, Grimoire and uh, do something to this guy's head. say that sure see what I mean it sounds like a completely different voice actor the village residents if thinking interferes with their actions so much worse for thinking so much so much the worse for thinking the locals are in, impetuous irritable and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reasons something is not right here I wanted to talk Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Is it the same as before? No, it's the same as before. Okay. What's this? What the, what the? Damaged axe shaft. A damaged axe shaft, the trace uh, it bears does not belong to Vesna. <laughs> Oh, it says something else here. Dish shards. A broken shards of blue ceramic dish. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing out bile and mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet and pungent taste stupefied, compelled, screaming, finger-pointing, and hurting. The frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath. Certain trace Vesna. Okay. Domestic squabbles. In this house lives a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly until they are out of breath. But they persist together despite everything. Okay. You go knock on this person's door again and just to annoy them. Right. Housekeeping. I wanted to talk. Please go. Please, please. Okay. I'm still not interested, even when it's housekeeping, so I'm you know, gonna find someone else. What do we have here? 
What is this? A dead goose. From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotion carries no desire or meat for meat or feathers. Only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Hmm. Again. Poor bird. Oh, what's this? Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects us unwanted visitors from other misfortune. Hmm. Hmm. Anything? Nothing? Okay, cool. So what else do we need? It looks like I'm missing. It's got to be right in here. So am I missing something? What's... Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. It says... Wise woman. For my dead body, I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers. A witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole the memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Uh-huh. The conflicted neighbors. The dead goose lies between a quarreling peasants. The obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she'd better do it quickly. It'll become... It will come to fisticuffs. Oh dear, not a bit of fisticuffs in a moment. <laughs> I like a bit of fisticuffs. Neighborly disputes. It seems that the neighbors quarreled over a goose strangled in the act of vengeance. A classic of the genre. Um, make Anatoly calm down. Part one. Okay. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well. All in all, it's, uh, I'm sorry, Bogdan. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that... Come inside, and tell me what you're doing here. I'm not quite sure that skeleton guy is gonna make anybody calm down. In, 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 if anything, it's probably... If anything, it's probably gonna panic people, right? I mean... I suppose they can't see it, right? Can I get in the house? There we go. Ooh, let me look at all your stuff. Unfinished letter. My dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land, and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor... Uh, sorry, I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to the <coughs> Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid, backwards. You repeat after the teacher, the, the reacher of yours. No, rector of yours. Okay. Boy's not happy. Uh, they say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends, and devils cursed by God are real. And they are everywhere. Uh-oh. Not everywhere. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. Something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Oh. Accuse her of taking advantage of the superstitious villagers. Tell you'll come back here again. Well, then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. What kind of comment is that? So, wait, hold up. Hold up. Is there something in here? What's it? 
nothing in here. So I'm missing something. That's uh, that's a problem. What kind of magic is that? I don't see anything like it. Hmm. So apparently there's something else I can get for... For her, right? What's that gonna be, I wonder? Hmm. You know what? Let's just try and accuse her of superstition. You've been going in so many circles, your head will spin. Accuse her of taking advantage of the superstitious villagers. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Uh, ask if she means Rasputin. Or ask if she means the Salutor. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a book of arch. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Nothing, apparently. I just have to keep well, searching. Well, I hope you'll still... I still say that to her every time I leave. Well, I'm hoping you'll still be alive. Haha, <laughs> don't fall. Don't go dying on me. <laughs> what the frick? Oh my word. Okay, um... Housekeeping. Okay. No housekeeping. I wonder if I need to do the cemetery part first. Uh, and then come back. Click, 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 click. click. Yeah, let's try the cemetery thing first. Because we did find them, right? We know we know we know who it is. Well, at least I think I know who it is. I think it's that lady. Oh. What do you want? Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is going to run away. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. Something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Oh. I'll be right back. Okay. Manipulation. Using thermatology, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secrets, which you have, uh, can learn by making conclusions. The manipulation is available. The character interaction icon will change, and the up up here will appear next to the character. The shovel is still uh, still shows trace of mud and ice. The coachman had to, to free the wagon's wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. 
don't think that's really damning evidence, is it? The coachman used a rag to wipe sweat from his forehead. The rag reeked with the sour odor of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels from the soft soil made the spine crack like a fishbone, and the muscles burn with fire. No one would help. Such was his job, such was his fate. <laughs> coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone, and all he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. Okay. Now, do you think holding... Does holding this down show me anything else? Or help me in any way? Because I wonder if I do have to do the... the cemetery part, you know, for the next bit. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Make the coachman's fatigue go away. Heart's Maybe one. you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. I meant to take the horse out for a run, so get on. <laughs> like a Jedi mind trick. But not the droids you're looking for. Hey, there we go. So we made it to the cemetery. It's lovely. What a nice place. And here's the guy we need to talk to. What have we got around here? What's this? Oh, there we go. So that's how you want to play. Elder Vasily's grave. Elder Vasily died many, uh, a, only a year ago, and his tombstone has clearly already been damaged. Why? Hmm. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? There you go. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thamatur? Thank him for his help. I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. Ask him what he's doing here. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. Uh, doom. Locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Manor quarrels Im to, uh, immediately turn into bloody fights, and people are tense and withdrawn. Things are not looking good. Um, ask the woman about the ill fortune hanging over the village. What sorts of things change in the village after the elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. Uh, ask about the district elder's death. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. 
A wicked spirit has taken over the Blighted Land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a Salutar. What do you mean? Tell him I might be right. The Elder's death, Vasily's death, was not peaceful. The Elder died in flames that consumed his house. The ruins are, ruins are thought to be cursed, and the locals speak of them with horror. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did the Zelda live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Superstitions. A woman in the cemetery claims the village is haunted by a lich. Village residents are a peaceful and happy village. Not quite. The villagers are riled up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame on their troubles of their, for their troubles on the actions of a uh, a book of Ach, I think I think it says right. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. <laughs> Burnt homestead, the village. Oh, burnt homestead, then. It's an interesting game so far. It's like a investigation-styled game. It's just actually not terrible. I mean, voice acting is arguably a little dodgy at times, but again, not horrendous. Um, but it's, it's, it's not too bad, actually. Quite like it so far. Can it's you feel it? It's interesting. It's the smell of mystery. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Uh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. <laughs> Tell them about flaws and salutars. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutars to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I visually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? Uh, say what flaw you're concealing. I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> and now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutar. Hmm? Ask him why he came with you. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. Explain what traces are. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? 
in tap dance. Oh, okay. If I do <laughs> manage to catch another Saditar, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple salutars. Why? I say the others are cowards. Because they're afraid. Like the ones who claimed the humans wouldn't learn to fly or even reach the pole. But the failure of others doesn't mean those people are right. It means a mistake was made somewhere. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Destroyed door frame. By some miracle, it survived the fire. A dried blood stain. It has soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. The blood sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wound inflicted by these scissors wasn't large, but it was accurate. Oh, by these scissors. Interesting. Life left the body. The heart went into spasm, and the mind recognized the end. It lasted for some time, and then the flames came, and the pain has resounded anew. So this person actually got attacked first, maybe? Seems like they may have been, they may have been attacked before the the, the fire started. Oops! Oh, come on, there we go. Something is off. Belt, a charred old trouser belt with a heavy metal buckle. Okay. <clears throat> A ragdoll, a charred ragdoll, it appears old. The doll is caked with a hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish of an old age painting, a child's fear, a girl's terror, a young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine and const that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes. Certain trace Vesna. <laughs> So Vesna was here, I guess. Oh. Yep. This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Did a flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. <laughs> Vestness trace. The same trace can be felt on the rag doll and the item dropped by the woman. <laughs> Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety. And her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Uh-oh. Why the hurry, father? We are the Tsar's man. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? I was going to say, they look like the same guys, but aren't they different people? <laughs> say yes and that you can do it again. I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But oh, not the same counting guy. the priest. Okay. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. 
All right, boys. You want to do this? It's your funeral. Good old stamp of the stick slots that guy out. But I love it. I wonder if we always attack with our fists, or if we have like a a weapon eventually. Let's whittle with my book a little bit here, make him a little dizzy, then give him a good old stab to the back. There we go, lovely. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned-out farmstead. Lucas sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. Our salutor's a, a, a being of many, many words, huh? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative as polite as I am. Vesna about Luca. It is clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened somebody. Someone with her husband, Luca, must not have the best reputation in the village. <laughs> Yeah, the voice acting like I mentioned particularly here sounds quite bad. Residency Luca is a sullen curl and a recluse. However, he seems to have a soft spot. Luca once was at Vasily's house on the night of the murder and the fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Uh, calm her down and make her feel safe. Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. You see her eyes. Poor woman. We've possessed her. Click, 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 click. This is coming up on an hour here. I just want to see how this concludes real quick. Again? This time it's a matter of life and death. 
How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you Bukavach? reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. Guy yeah, doesn't get a choice. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salutor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salutor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Oh. Unless... You're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could! Uh-oh. Get out of here! Here you are, the Book of Art. I think it looks Testing horrifying. The is mine, and you're mine. I have to fight it? Yeah, fighting wild sa uh, salutars. To defeat a wild salutar, uh, you must get rid of the shadows to protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him. But the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild salutar sends more enemies against you. Yeah, so just do one of each, right? I mean, I got enough points for it. Let's fight. Level 38, oh sorry, 38 hit points. Damn. Just rub my little book there a little bit, no problem. Stompy stick for you. Ow. I suppose I deserve that. Boom. You're down. Let's get this guy. Or gal, whoever this is. Whatever this is. Ow. And the combat's certainly interesting. Although it's all about what it feels like. It's all about reducing the uh, uh, that 
or, or stunning them, if you will, like getting them into that stun state and then just hitting them. So we have a new friend. You lose. You lose. You lose. You're going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Hey, we tamed it. Uh, the deed dimension Salutor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your aid. The untamed Salutor won't obey your orders, stops you from developing, and weakens your perce uh, perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothed your, his anger. You achieved the unachievable. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine, I'll handle it myself. I did it before and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go, you don't need to see this. <sighs> um... Prevent Luca from making rash decisions. Nothing has to be decided at the moment. Certainly not things that can't be undone. Well, exactly. Beat it, you scoundrels. There's enough blood in this village already. Sharing a village with murderers? You were the first to spill blood! It's not the same. If that's the case, you're banished from the village. Get out of here! We'll burn away the impurity you left in our village. Some of these facial expressions, though. Okay, all right. <clears throat> it's a fun game, though. It's it's kind of interesting. Um, the voice acting is just uh, something different, that's for sure. <laughs> Especially the main characters that just seems to randomly change, uh, kind of depending on the um, depending on the situation or the, the person he's speaking to. That's kind of funny. But otherwise, you know, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, it's quite funny. But uh, if you like what you saw, um, then don't forget to go and wishlist it. It's super helpful for the developers if you wishlist them. It's available on the Steam Next Fest right, Next Fest right now with the, the demos. So check it out if you fancy checking it out. I had a lot of fun with it. But uh, that's all for me for now. So leave a like if you liked. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.